this type of silver, 90% mm -hmm. silver, right. is vanishing. And it, it will never come back. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. In this video, we're going to talk to Tim. And we're going to talk about this stuff right here, constitutional silver. Sometimes affectionately called junk silver. I know that triggers some people, but hey. <laughs> it's not junk, it's very, very special. It is beautiful stuff, but it is vanishing. People are hoarding it. It has been melted down in the past. And even with the increased premiums that we've seen recently, it's important to put at least some of your stack in constitutional silver. When we say constitutional silver, it's called that because it's actually written in the Constitution. Article 1, Section 8, that Congress shall have the power to coin money, regulate the value thereof in a foreign coin. And in Section 10, it says, No state shall make anything but gold and silver coin a tender in payment of debts. This is constitutional silver. I love it because I believe as a prepper stacker, it will possibly or maybe even likely be seen as barter material after an SHTF scenario or a dollar collapse. I'm also collecting silver for my son, Little Stacks. It's part of the Yankee Constitutional Silver Series. And I'm working my way through the list of coins that celebrate the fact that we used to make our coinage out of silver. This is real money. During this high premium time right now with silver, it's potentially a good time for me to add a little bit to that Constitutional Silver Series. So I asked him for something special. At the end of the video, I uh, contemplate a very beautiful piece of historic silver. Since they last made junk silver, or 90% silver, 1964, um, the population has added um, probably 50 million people or more. We don't know where it's going, but it, you know, right. it hasn't been used as currency. That's why it was available in bags. It wasn't used as currency anymore. We were using copper and nickel currency. Um, but once it's back in the hands of the people who want to use it as currency, there won't be any available. Yeah. They were making billions of pennies back in that period of time, but not billions of silver coins. Uh, if you look at the minages, except for 63 and 64, where they boosted the minage because they had to get rid of the silver that was on hand. Once the silver is committed to the mining process, they have to use it. I don't think they have a mechanism to put it back in the strategic silver reserves. So, you know, they, they had a lot of silver to get rid of in 63 and 64. But look at all the years before that. The minages aren't that large. And I, I suspect that those coins are, are right now disappearing, or at least they're going into the hands of you know, people who will be using it for currency. Like soon. Soon. <laughs> soon? Soon. They're already currency. I mean, if you, yeah. you go to a gun dealer and ask him if he'll take silver or gold in, in exchange for ammo or guns, he'd probably say yeah. And not just that, I mean, you know, when, when you're, um, if you're facing another pandemic-like problem where there's a shortage of food or whatever, not just toilet paper, but if there's a shortage of something that people really need, um, silver or gold will probably buy it before anything else. And if they, you know, if they keep spending the way they're spending, you know, the dollar is going to lose value. It's already starting. Well, as you know, Tim, I'm trying to get the next stage of the um, Constitutional Silver Series for my son, Little Stacks. Um, I'm looking at this. This is pretty remarkable. Um, first of all, should should does this need to be in a slab? It, it depends. If you're selling it to a collector, it should be a slab. Well, I'm not selling it ever. And second of all, 
Is that really the price? <laughs> I, I think I better. Uh, well, it, oh that man, would be probably a high retail price okay. if it didn't have the small amount of scratches that it had. Um, That's amazing, though. It's a beautiful yeah, seventeen ninety nine. Yeah. Oh, it's a Drake bust dollar. Wow. That is just, yeah, it has it does have a couple scratches on it. Yeah, I would say it's in the three thousand dollar range. Whoa. And you know, if you you can probably find one like that for twenty nine fifty or something like that. Because it, it sounds bad. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I, I think four thousand is out of the question for that coin. A seventeen ninety nine. I mean, how many do you think exist of That's this? That's a good question. I think they kept vintages. I think. I guess you could call that some high premium silver right there, people. Ooh. 1799 was the largest minage of the series. Okay. He actually made 423,000 coins. Hmm. Um, how many shine. still exist? No way of knowing. But, you know, 400,000 coins when the population is only a few million, that's... Mm. Um, Good point. That's not a lot of coins for, for the population. And there are probably as many coin collectors in this country now as there were people back then. Well, that's interesting. Right? So, wow. we're talking 1799, we're talking 13 states. So, um, amazing history. Can imagine the people that were walking around with this in their pocket or purse or whatever. They were probably wealthy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I feel like you have to be wealthy to, to join them here in 2021. But that was made at a time uh, when the uh, ratio of coins, with silver coins to gold, was 16 to 1. That's what the ratio was. Wow. That's why they changed the ratio, because mm. the silver was flying out of the country. So there may not be any of those around. Hmm. That's why they changed the ratio to 25 to 1. It's, this is going to be a hard one for me to buy, Tim. <laughs> but thank you so much for sharing that and uh, appreciate it, man. Anytime. Ooh. Don't you feel just more educated every time you hear Tim speak? I do. I just love talking with him. And I love that 1799 draped bust silver coin Ooh, i don't know that's a steep price i think i'm gonna have to really save up for a while to get that and he did say that he would put it aside for me so if you're watching this video have a heart don't try to take that coin from me please <laughs> i just need to to save up quite a while before i can get it um and there'll be more, I'm sure, from Tim. He's been helping me out greatly. If you're interested in uh, where I'm at in the Constitutional Silver Series, check out the videos there. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. So many people watch my videos and they're not subscribers. So you're going to miss out on some of my upcoming uh, videos. I have more with Tim. You're not going to want to miss it. So hit the bell after you subscribe. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.